We're in the U District and we're going to be taking a right into Laurelhurst. So I was saying earlier how my grandparents built their home in like the 1950s. Their kids were the baby boomers. They were the greatest generation. There's a fancy senior center that's new. Ooh, a new old looking building. Um, but yeah, so my parents were the baby boomers and their house in Windermere, which is next to Laurelhurst here, was built in the 1950s and my grandfather actually designed it and then expanded upon it. So this area that we're going up into here is called Laurelhurst and it's a very desirable place to live. It's a very expensive place to live. And so we're gonna just drive around it and we're gonna look at a house for sale in a minute, but uh, first we'll just do a little tour. There's the Center for Urban Horticulture. That's a UW property. You can see on the left here, start to get an idea for some of the homes uh, in this area. What do you see dead ahead that looks like it's blocking our path? It's a giant hill. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very steep hill right here and um, these are really good for sledding in the winter not so much for driving but this is the type of stuff you get in this uh, part of town there's actually a hill on 85th not too far from here where my grandparents went to church that was like the steepest hill or the not it wasn't steep at all but it was the tallest point in seattle so when we would be going to church there we would always have to call and say how's the weather at church like is it is there snow at church because sometimes there would be snow at church when there wasn't snow other places so you can certainly see we're climbing and climbing up this big hill some park area over there what you get on this side. Views of Lake Washington. So definitely good to be at the top part of the hill. The huge brick Tudor house over there. Uh, more of a 1960s house over here. Doing some work, you know, spending a hundred thousand on the yard to make your two million dollar house look better. I like it, I can approve of that. Something very modern right here. Like 1960s modern. <laughs> okay, that's a beautiful house right there with the hydrangeas. Oh my, they have a little golf cart. They have some people looking around wondering why I'm filming them. Here's new construction. So a lot of times in these nice uh, older Hoods, we just get somebody who says, you know what, I'm spending that much for the point of entry, let me buy an old house and just knock it down and build the house that I want. So, Laurelhurst is really great. A lot of older houses though, but a lot of character, like a lot of old time Seattle. This one's for sale. top 1960s style. Sometimes they have flat tops to save the view for people, but that just doesn't work well in Seattle. Um, because we get so much rain, it's much better if you have a, the type of roof that sheds water, but you can see they have a deck on there, big hedge for privacy. like you feel like you're in old-fashioned Ohio or something like you've got 
the urban feeling of the houses being close together. You've got the sidewalks. You've got the kids playing hopscotch or whatever. I don't know what they're playing. They're playing soccer over there. Look at this big view of Lake Washington. We're looking in northeast right now. And so usually you can tell if a house has a really good view by how many windows it has. If it has a wall of windows, then it probably has a good view. There's some more sort of modern townhouse style stuff going on over there. I like the marigolds that they have in their front um, porch on the top of that deck over there. Some construction going on. Look at that house. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. That's going to be nice. Look at this giant retaining wall that they're having to build. Hill plus giant house equals don't let the house slide down the road. Here's the lake. Here's that brick tutor that we passed before. Out aerating his lawn, good for him. Oops. like a little older home with the outfit there. We've got columns here. They squeezed that garage on the side. We've got a basketball hoop for the kids. So some really fun places to look at here. All right, now we're gonna go back toward the UW and look at, we're gonna do a tour of the home that I booked to go take a look at. Notre Dame? Who's flying a Notre Dame flag here in the UW area? Huh, oh, oh, so rude. Okay, you guys can't see that way because of the sun looks like over here. It's trying to rest my arm had my shoulder workout today. It's getting a little tired. Actually, I work out with exercise bands. Like, I don't know if you've seen them. They're like giant bands. And I can hook them to a bar that's like a weightlifting bar. And it uh, gives you a pretty good workout. So when you guys meet me after this, uh, you can ask to see my muscles if you want. I don't, I don't mind. I will flex a bicep for you and you can see how good this little rubber band workout is because I think you're going to be super impressed with that. Okay, so now we're going due west and you can see... What are we looking at? I think that's the UW, some of the taller UW campus buildings. We're too far north to be looking at downtown Seattle. Going down, down, down that big hill, remember? Whoa! These are the green lime scooters. That's where you kind of rent it using an app. Here's some kids. It looks like they're gonna go swimming, maybe at the lake. Some new construction over there. You can see this nice boulevard with the grass in between the uh, lanes of traffic. It's a 
Loris World Campus and Conference Center. I wonder if the UW on set. Okay, let's see where this house is. 